challenge or focus. We've got the Knight of Wands. So this could be a fire sign person, Aries, Sag, or Leo, male or female in these general readings. These court cards can be either. And man, you got a lot of court cards and it's all fire. Aries, Sag, or Leo, strong influence in July. So um, this could be somebody wanting to help you, a new influence coming into your life, a very protective influence. Um, like it's meant, you're meant to meet this person. They're going to be a guide to you or a big help to you in some way. Um, but the challenge maybe is that this fire energy is very quick. It's very fast. Sometimes with the Knight of Wands, he can uh, come in quickly and leave just as quickly. Uh, you know, he's all about uh, fast entrance and fast departure. Um, and take that any way you wish. A couple of different ways you could take that, Virgo. Um, this could also be talking about travel and relocation because he's not always just about, uh, you know, he doesn't have to be a romantic interest. Um, it could be a friend. It could be a child. It could be a, a family member who is offering you their help, offering you their support. But if you are a single Virgo, it could be, well, you are going to help someone that you meet this person, but it's like you're in the right place at the right time to meet just the right person to help you or to meet just the right person for those of you that are single and looking. And I do think for some of you, it is a romantic partner or someone you're interested in or your crush. Um, you could also meet someone while, while traveling for sure with him or someone while you're that while you're looking for a new place to live or in the middle of relocating um in the present energy we also have the king of wands so i for many of you this is the same person king of wands uh in the present so for some of you that's going to be whenever you're watching this video for others of you it will be the end of june going into july again fire sign aries sag or leo um, coming up next to Gifu. So this could be, again, yeah, an offer of a romantic partnership or someone that you want to be in a romantic partnership with or someone you thought you were in a romantic partnership with. But yeah, um, with him in the reverse, it could be that you feel like he may be wanting to move too quickly. So maybe it's like you just met two weeks ago and he already, he already wants to move in together or, you know, Maybe you're wanting to do that. Uh, you're wanting more of a commitment and wanting to know where you stand and he's suddenly unreachable. There's something in the present energy or at the end of June going into July where you're not sure where you stand with him or he's not sure where he stands with you or there's something to where you need to get on the same page with the pacing. And um, if this is a romantic partnership, if it is a business partnership, same thing. I mean, this may be somebody pushing for a commitment from you and you may be like, whoa, hold up. Um, I, I have some things to consider. I don't think you're saying no, but it could also be kind of like someone, like you see their temper. Like maybe he has a bad temper. Fire signs can sometimes have, have issues with that. Um, and it kind of gives you pause or he just jumps into things. He's kind of reckless with his decisions or reckless with his money or, or there's something about it. You're kind of like, oh, I, I, I'm really attracted to this person, but can I live with this? Or, you know, I really want this job, but can I work for this person when they're always changing, changing the direction or changing their, um, this is not someone who's a good leader in the upright. He's a fantastic leader in the reverse. Yeah, this is not, uh, my cat's scratching something. He shouldn't be scratching. Uh, yeah, this is not someone who's a good leader, unfortunately, in the reverse. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that in the present, there may be something you're kind of like, is that a red flag or is that, can I live with that? And it'll be different for all of you. Um, you know, it will be, uh, it will be up to each of you to decide because some of you may say yes and some of you will say no. The help that's going to be available, again, another fire sign person, Queen of Wands, Aries, Sedger, Leo. So we've got males and females on the table, but these could all be the same person. And this person was originally coming in as a help, a protector, a fighter, somebody who's going to fight for you. Maybe this is somebody who like literally gets into like a fight, like a physical fight with like your ex or with somebody uh, that, you know, it, but it's in defense of you, but you may be kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
if I can deal with that. Um, the help that's coming in though is like a, a disappointment will be overturned or this person will give you reasons for why they did what they did, the action that they took. And I think it's going to be kind of like, I just, I act without thinking sometimes. And they are being honest. I don't, I don't feel like this is a bad person for most of you. Obviously, if this is somebody who hits you in anger or is, a, is abusive to you in some way or says nasty things to you, that would not be the case. Um, but for someone that's like, maybe they did something to help you. Maybe they didn't get into a fight, but they like maybe kind of took some action that they, that they thought would be helping you without asking you. And you're kind of like, that was a little intrusive or you should have checked with me before you did that. And then they like, and you're like, um, you're disappointed because you had a lot of hopes for this relationship or you had a lot of hopes for this situation and, uh, or you had a lot of hopes for this job. Again, this does not have to be romantic. For some of you it is, for others of you, it is um, someone trying to help you or somebody with good intentions, but it turns out they do something that kind of steps on your toes um, or that that you're, you're it has you questioning whether or not you want to stay in this relationship or take this job or stay in that situation. There's something, yeah, that you have to kind of consider um, whether you can live with that action or deal with that action. They just kind of rush in and do things. And, um, but they're goal oriented, I do feel. Um, this is somebody who I do feel like will fight for you, will fight for your relationship, uh, you know, um, will help you in a lot of ways. They would be a good partner, but their energy may be too much for some of you. You may need more relaxing energy than a fire sign energy. Now, for those of you that have a friend, maybe this is a friend, uh, another fire sign who is a friend and you're talking to them and, and they're kind of maybe helping you through this or helping you kind of understand or see, maybe they saw things uh, that you didn't see, but in a positive way. So definitely seek advice from friends, um, seek advice from family um, about what they would do or what they think of this situation because I do feel like a goal can be achieved or you can definitely, there's something that you want Virgo. And if it is a relationship, if it is a job, you know, it, it is kind of one of those things where you may, need, you may need to take some time in July and not make an overnight decision. You don't want to get into something you can't get out of um, because you may find yourself if you jump in to kind of regret that decision pretty quickly in July. So yeah, seek advice, talk to advisors. Um, I think you're going to find that they have a lot of wisdom to share with you. Um, but for many of you, I just think this is somebody saying, you know, apologizing and meaning it like because they stepped on your toes or did something that they should have really checked with you first about. Now, what must be accepted about the month of July? We do have justice in reverse. So but next to this are rooms of um, a big shift or change in regards to uh, family, especially older relatives, parents, um, grandparents, mother, father, our children. Big shifts or change when it comes to the arrangement, the parenting arrangements, if you're dealing with um, an ex. For some of you, if you're still going through a divorce or getting divorced, this could be... Um, negotiating for um like who gets what weekends when are they coming to your house when are they go you know or um if you're moving away or if i'm moving away because again he comes up as relocation travel if it's not for you maybe it's an ex and now you're like well how are you going to get the kids for your time or how are we going to divide this up so trying to figure that stuff out um but yeah, it could be that they were trying to get something unfair with that. And you're like, oh no, that's, you know, you thought maybe they were going to get it. And then it comes back. No, we're going to, that wouldn't be fair to you, Virgo. So yeah, there could be an overturning of an unjust or, or a situation that was unfair to you, Virgo. Um, or it could be like someone else is saying, the, like the other side is saying, this is unfair. Or like, you know, I should get this weekend or I should get that or, you know, whatnot. Um, for some of you, this could also have to do with, um, moving, um, 
property deals. Yeah, at, at terms that were unfair to you or, you know, the other side saying that's not a fair price for this property or, or whatever, but maybe they don't get any more offers. So they take yours or maybe they're asking too much for the property and you're getting them to settle for, uh, you know, a more fair price after the inspection or after you kind of actually have an appraisal and find out what it's worth. Um, same thing if you're selling a home, you know, like somebody may be saying, oh, you're asking prices too much or. Uh, and then like you present the paperwork from the appraisal and it's like, well, actually, no, it's not. Here you go. But yeah, travel and relocation are lit up here. Could also be a settlement or, uh, some sort of, um, inheritance or probate situation. If that's been like someone saying, oh, you know, mom really left that to me or, you know, it's like, well, they didn't put it in the will. They left it to me. Uh, so yeah, there, there's something about injustice here coming up around uh, legal situations or relocation, property, sales, moving, that kind of stuff. Now the outcome is the judgment card. So weighing your options and finalizing decisions when it comes to changing jobs or relocation. Again, big shifts or changes. Got a lot of people moving. Not unusual for, for spring and summer, but yeah, these July readings are all about travel, relocation. Um, for some of you, it could be deciding, you know, am I gonna, am I gonna move in with this person? Am I gonna, am I gonna take this job? Am I gonna sell this house? Do I want this house or do I want this house? There's, there are, you know, now the good thing about this card is it's up to you. You have the control, but you may kind of, being sure if you're making the right decision, which all of us have those moments of self-doubt when we are making a big decision, especially when it comes to property or money or selling or relocation. So you may be talking to some friends, you may be talking to some family members, seeking out their advice. And uh, I do, again, think that's really gonna help you. Um, just kind of know and be confident in the decision that you eventually do make. But yeah, it's about big shifts and changes, travel, relocation. Um, with judgment, there's often something coming up from the past. So it could be like you're dealing with, it could be, this is coming up regarding, um, you know, again, this situation from the past, if it's an ex, like you're, you know, you're dealing with this former partner, you're dealing with this old relationship energy and trying to figure out like, who's going to get the kids when, and who's going to travel where, um, do they want to travel there? Uh, yeah, you may feel like this, if, you know, this is a decision that it's going to carry a lot of weight, meaning I feel like it will be kind of set in stone for quite a long period of time. So it's either going to be a home you live in for a long period of time or a contract you're going to be bound to for a long period of time, if it's a job or a legal contract or a legal settlement of some sort. So it is important that you make sure Everything is the way that you want it, but these are, this is a good rune and this is a good card. I mean, it really is. It does indicate that, you know, you make the right decision to open the way, uh, open the path for you, Virgo. So yeah, justice and judgment. Also, because this is in reverse and this is in the upright, I do feel like if a situation has been unfair, if someone has treated you unfairly, and this is the old energy you're dealing with, that will be rectified in July. You may kind of feel like at the end of July, you finally got your just desserts, or maybe they did, <laughs> or maybe you both did. And um, you finally kind of showed them, right? Like, oh, no, this is how it's gonna be. You don't call all the shots. Um, so yeah, lots of exciting changes, Virgo. Things look really good. Um, yeah, I just feel like you have some big decisions to make about a move, um, about a relationship for some of you, uh, about where you want to go and who you want to go with, but let's see what further wisdom and guidance we can get for you for the month of July. <laughs>